in the previous lecture we firstly learned that what is GDP, GNP, NNP, personal income, personal disposable income. Later on we learned the nominal GDP, real GDP and GDP deflator and also we calculated the nominal GDP and real GDP. So, in this lecture we are going to calculate the inflation rate or the CPI means consumer price index using the GDP deflator. Our lecture is based on nominal GDP and real GDP calculation and how to calculate the inflation rate using GDP deflator. As we know that the GDP means that the money value of all finite goods and services produced in a country during a period of one year that is the total output if measured at current year price that becomes nominal GDP. The real GDP means when total output is measured at base year price is real GDP. Nominal GDP for the year 2015 that we already calculated in the previous video that suppose that the units 25 for commodity A, 50 units of commodity B and 40 units of commodity C and 30 units of commodity D and 60 units of commodity E have been produced in an economy during period of 2015 and their prices for the year 2015 is 1.5, 7.5 and 6 and 5 and 2 dollars per unit. So, the total output value at current year price is the 922.5 dollar that is the nominal GDP for the year 2015. This is the output which economy has produced in the year 2016 that for unit commodity A 30 units have been produced for units B 60 units C 50 D 35 and E 70 units have been produced in an economy. The prices for the year 2016 1.687, 5.5 and 2.5 dollar whereas the prices for 2015 was this. So, if we calculate the total output at current year price though the nominal GDP for 2016 is 1245.5 dollar whereas the nominal GDP for 2015 was 922.5 dollar. So, if we calculate the 2016 output at base year price it means if we calculate the total output at 2015 year price that would be the real GDP and real GDP that also we calculated in the previous video would be 1110 dollar. So, this is the real GDP for 2016 and this is the nominal GDP for 2016 is 1245 whereas the nominal GDP for year 2015 was 922.5 dollar. We have calculated these things 2015 nominal GDP is 922.5 real GDP 922.5 this is the GDP deflator that is 100 how we have calculated this GDP deflator. So, as we learned that the GDP deflator is ratio of nominal GDP to real GDP multiplied by 100 nominal GDP here is 922.5 and real GDP is 922.5 multiplied by 100 is equal to 100. The GDP deflator is 100 as we calculated here also. This is because that the nominal and real GDP remains the same and there is no rise in price that is why the GDP deflator is 100. So, we are calculating the GDP deflator for the year 2016 is 12.5 it means the inflation has risen by 12.5 percent. The GDP deflator in 2015 was 100 and in 2016 is 112.5. So, the GDP has been deflated by 12.5 percent. So, it means this is the rise in output due to rise in price. So, now the main target is CPI means consumer price index how to calculate the consumer price index or inflation rate using the GDP deflator and so the inflation rate is equal to CPI, CPI 2 means the consumer price index current year consumer price index minus CPI 1 is the base year consumer price index divided by the base year consumer price index multiplied by 100 CPI in 2016 using 2015 base year. So, CPI uh, will be equals to 12.5 percent as you can see here the 112.5 this is the current year deflator and the this is the base year price 
and this is the base year price and multiplied by 100. So, the total rise in price is 12.5 percent. It means the rise in GDP that is 12.5 percent is due to inflation while the rest of the rise in, in nominal GDP might be due to increase in output means the inflation a rise in by 12.5 percent. So, GDP deflator helps to segregate the output which has been rising due to increase in price and uh, how much portion of the output has been actually rises. So, this was all about the calculation of the inflation rate using the GDP deflator. If you have not watched my previous videos on GDP, GDP deflator, nominal GDP and real GDP, you can watch my those videos. So, if you have any question or query, you may ask in comment box. Thanks for watching.